please, Kylie. So, who's Dallas Adams? He's our flatmate. Mm. He's got a lot of mail piling up. Yeah, he spends a bit of time at his girlfriend's house. Shall I take his room then? No, no, you stay in mine. I'll sleep out here. So, where's Vinny? At work? He's still on holiday. Running away from you, no doubt. Haven't you apologised to him yet? He's fine. He's just in the nappy catching up with mates. Hey, um, no, I should probably get off. So, how do you two know each other? Uh, we work together at the hospital. Well, technically, I work for her at the moment, half as the CEO. The acting CEO. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> You're just colleagues, I take it? Nothing more? Just workmates, Mum. Well, I will let you guys settle in. It was really lovely to meet you. And you. Hey. Hey. I saw lavender. Ah, uh, yep. Since when do you claim? Since Sarah caught the she's coming back from Chicago. No way. Yeah. She arrives Wednesday. You get your girls back. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm gonna book us some uh, serious family time, you know? Me, Sarah, Tilly, 24 7. What about weight training in the lounge? <laughs> no. <laughs> no weight training. When they get back, everything's gonna be put on hold. Good workout. Oh, yeah, I pretended to do some kickboxing, drag Nicole along. Oh, yeah, kind of like a date? Um, not really. We're just workmates. That's what it is, I think. I don't know. You want to talk about it? I mean, I haven't got a clue what to say about lesbian issues, but I can listen. <laughs> no, I'm good. You better get back to your cleaning. This place better be spotless for Sarah. Yes. I don't want her to think we're slobs. <laughs> <laughs> Bad sleep on that couch. Oh, I was lying there imagining myself at the mall with my mother and at the supermarket with my mother and at the gym with my mother. Heaven forbid. Tell me I'm going to wake up from this living nightmare. Pinch me. <laughs> no, it didn't work. I'm going to have to face reality. Mother dearest is moving to the big city. Oh, who knows? After a few days, stuck in the traffic, paying ridiculous prices for parking, maybe she'll face reality and change her mind. I seriously doubt that. My mum is a whole different kind of stubborn. As opposed to your kind of stubborn. Look, if you ever need anything. Oh, I'll tell you what I need. A few hours just blobbing out, doing nothing. Sitting in front of the TV, being lazy. Ah, uh, using the couch for the purpose it was intended. Exactly. And mum and Eric are out looking at community houses for ages. Then do it. Back-to-back -back episodes of that show you love. What is it? Consequences? Mm, bliss. I don't like to watch it by myself. I have to do a running commentary. Oh, is there a spare seat on the couch? No, I, I didn't mean you. You're busy. Well, my schedule's pretty flexible. No, I didn't want to give you the wrong idea. Don't worry, I'm not going to jump you in the middle of the afternoon. Definitely not during business hours. OK, then. That is it. The couch is booked. Get popcorn. Done. Don't do it, girl. No, no, no. She did it. Oh, yes, she did. What a skin. <laughs> Wait till you see the next episode. Mm, what happens? Watch it. Well, I can't. I've got to go back to work. You've seen them all. Tell me. Oh, dear. It's happened. You're addicted to consequences. <sighs> Welcome to my world. All right, stuff it. One more ep. Nate can mind the shop. He owes me. I love this. What? Watching TV during the day? Watching TV with a buddy. Let me guess, Vinny. There's this one time we had to rewatch an entire episode because we missed all the clues. We're too busy yelling at the screen or. Or. Nothing. Mm, how was he? Anyway, have you had any text updates? Nope. Well, even after the fight you had. I thought he would have at least sent you a makeup text by now. No, he hasn't. And even if he had, I wouldn't be in any hurry to text him back. Because I've got other things on my mind right now. What kind of things? Oh, for goodness sake, Eric. I'm allowed to...
to get my change from the taxi driver, you don't have to tip everyone you meet. Oh, hello. Hi, you guys are back early. We don't muck around. Yeah, she wouldn't even let us go to a cafe. We'll make a sandwich when we get home. Uh, you'll be starving. I'm on it. So, um, how did the meetings go? Oh, they went well, didn't they? Some good options to consider. Yes, both so. So what about you two? You've had a relaxing afternoon, I take it? I was just introducing Harper to Consequences. You should watch it, Mum. It's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> no, I better ask Vinny first. What's he got to do with it? Well, it's his DVD. Oh, no, beg your pardon. It belongs to Nicole and Vinny. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I should uh, really get going. I'm so glad that your meetings went well. Um, I'll maybe see you later? Maybe. OK, well, uh, bye, guys. Bye. OK, what was that all about? I know you and Harper are only work friends, but I just thought you needed reminding that Vinny will be coming back home soon. She's not into Vinny, that's obvious. It's not like that. So, you are into him? I don't know why I have to keep repeating this for you. Vinny and I are just friends. Is that what Vinny wants? No, but his vote doesn't count. You shouldn't really live with your ex. That's a no-brainer. Good point, Eric. You're still living with him because it's not over. It is. A long time ago. So it didn't work out the first time. Sometimes it doesn't. But that doesn't mean you have to throw yourself into the arms of the first woman you see. Why would I do that? Well, she's attractive. A real distraction from those big, strong Samoan muscles. That is ridiculous. Yes. It is, isn't it? Hello, stranger. Hey. <laughs> How's things back at home base? Uh, Eric's already taken himself off to bed, but Mum will be pottering around for hours. Well, I hope you don't mind if I seek sanctuary here for a bit. Oh, no, of course not. You can stay over if you like. Ah, oh, I would if I didn't think my mother would send out a search party. <laughs> she doesn't miss a beat, does she? Not in my experience. I'm so sorry about the way she was carrying on before. Yeah, she does seem to be quite taken with Vinny. Uh, I could have throttled her. Oh, don't worry about it. It's kind of funny, really. It actually sounded like she thought you two were still an item. Yeah, I know. Which isn't the case, right? No, of course not. You don't sound so sure. Well, there is something I have been meaning to tell you. OK. When we were down in Tauranga, Vinny admitted... That what? That he still loves me. Yeah, of course he does. And he kind of kissed me. OK. I kind of kissed him back. I know I should have said something sooner. But you didn't because you still love him, don't you? Sometimes, yeah. But I wish that I didn't. Right, so that's all I was. A distraction, someone to help you get over Vinny, a little buddy to help you take your mind off things. Harper. Look, there's nothing more to say. Whatever this was between you and me, as of now, it is over. So go. Just get out. <laughs>